so we have just uh, about nine or ten questions to solve so question number six said in the diagram in the diagram below come on look at the diagram i don't have time to start writing all those stories so we have that here is p and q and then they say that this is center oh we have a line to the center we have this is 15 cm and this is 6 cm here is 90 so here is our r here is our o so they say we should calculate 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 i the length the length of the length of the cord the length of the cord that is okay then i i they say we should calculate the angle angle sub substen subtended angle subtended by by p o q okay then i i i so we should calculate perimeter of the minor segment perimeter of minor segment this segment or sector it's a segment okay <clears throat> so perimeter of the minor segment okay so now let us have this all right so first of all we're going to have that um Okay, let's start from the first one, the length of the chord. Now, to calculate the length of this chord is just for us to use here, Pythagoras theorem. So, I'm having that this triangle is like this. So, here is my x, here is 90, here is 15, and here is 6. So, we say that what? 15 squared is equal to what? C squared plus x squared. So, 225 is equal to what? 36 plus x squared. So, therefore, x squared will now be 225 minus 36. So x squared is equal to 225 minus 36. So 225 minus 36. So I'm having 189. 189. So therefore, x will now be the square root of 189. So what do we have? Square root of my answer. So I'm having 2 root 21 in cm. That is our i question. Now, for our i i question, they say the angle subtended. So we're going to cut this side to join this so this is the angle theta so to find this angle theta we know that first of all we can get the length of this uh, chord so length length of okay the length of the chord sorry this is our x so the length of the chord they say we should find length length of the chord is equal to what 2x which is equal to what 2 times 2 root 21 which is what 4 root what 21 okay 4 root 21 cm okay so that is for our i so our i i we have it as 4 root 21 okay so our i i they say we should find the angle but we know that length length of a chord is given by what i think a 2 r 2 r sine theta over 2 so we have that 4 root 21 is equal to what? 2 r, 2 times, my r is 15. So 2 times 15, then sine theta over 2. So we have 2 times this is 30. So therefore, sine theta over 2 is equal to what? 4 root 21 divided by 30. So what do we have? Sine theta over 2 is equal to, do that. Okay, that thing is 3 root 21. So it's going to be 6 root 21, please. That was 3 root 21. So it's going to be 6 root 21. Sorry, I, I did not see it very well. So please, so that you don't make mistake. Okay, so if you times it by 2, you have 6 root 21. Then divide it by 30. You have, you have um, root 21 over 5. So therefore, theta over 2 will give you the sine inverse of that root 21 over 5 okay so theta over 2 will give you let's say sine shift sign of my answer i'm having 
66.4 so theta will now be 66.4 times 2 which will give you approximately to the whole number which will give you 133 degrees so that is approximation 133 degrees okay that is the angle there 133 degrees so we move to the last question there and the last question there said we should find the perimeter of the segment that is the length of the arc plus the length of the cord okay so that is the length of let me show you question number three so i i i say we should find the perimeter of this sector watch the segment sorry this is the segment so the perimeter of this this place is the minor segment the perimeter of this minor segment is if you add this place then you now add this place you understand and so so you say that perimeter perimeter of the segment segment is equal to uh, the length of the arc plus the length of the cord length of the arc plus the length of the cord okay so the length of the arc if we calculate the length of the arc if not we can calculate it we know the length of the arc is given as theta over 360 times 2 pi r okay plus the length of the cord i think we got it as 3 root 21 if i can remember sorry 6 root 21 if i can remember okay so this one is now we found the angle to be we found the angle to be what what did we find ahead 133 so 133 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times the radius is 15 then plus 6 root 21 so if you do everything i'm having 133 times 44 times 15 divided by 2520 so everything here is giving me 34.83 plus 6 6 root 21 is giving me 27.50 uh five zero so if you add it i'm going to have 34.83 plus 27.50 so approximately everything is giving me 62.33 okay so that is that thank you very much for watching okay we have just two more questions to go okay we have extra two more questions to go okay so we move to question number seven. So you see that these things are very easy. All you need to do is just to know the right formula to use and then you are good to go. So let's go again. Okay, question number seven. So question number seven here said a chord a chord PQ of length a chord of PQ of length 24 cm is is drawn in a circle of radius in a circle of radius 37 cm he said if if point R, if point R is the center, is the center of the circle, comma, find the area of triangle P R Q. Okay, so let us draw that to help us to know what we are doing. So this is the circle. We have, we have this. This is the triangle inside of it. And the radius of this circle is um the radius of this circle is 37 37 okay and then we have that the length of this cord is what is 24 so what to find this is now very simple we remember the formula when we have the three sides of the the triangle so area area of the triangle is given us the square root of s in bracket of s minus a in bracket of s minus b bracket of s minus c and then my s is giving us a plus b plus c divided by 2 so let me say that this is my a b and c okay 
So we have 37 plus another 37 plus 24 divided by 2. So I'm going to have them. Um, so I'm having 49 everything. Okay. So the area, area of the triangle becomes the square root of 49 in bracket of 49 minus 37 and another 49 minus 37. Then finally, 49 minus uh, 24. Okay. So if you do everything, you are going to have the square root of 49 bracket, 49 minus 37. 49 minus 37 is giving us 12. In bracket of another 12, in bracket of 49 minus 24. So I'm having 25. So therefore, this is now the square root of 25 times 12 times another 12 times 49. So I'm having 176400. So if we now have the square root of that, my answer, I'm having 420cm squared. So that is the area of that triangle. Here is my R, here is my P, and here is my Q. See? Very simple. We move to the next question, and I think that should be the last question I'm going to solve for this particular uh, topic and video, this particular video. So the last question here, question number eight. Question number eight said, um, there are two chords, line MN and line PQ in a circle. Okay. Then they now say that line MN is equal to 10 cm and line pq is equal to what 8 cm then and the radius and the radius of the circle is 12 cm we stop you now say what is the distance distance of each chord from from the from the center of the circle okay from the center of the circle okay so let us sketch that sketching it will help us to know what to do so we have that this is a circle. We have the first chord and then we have the second chord. This is the center of the circle. So from here to here is the radius and from here to here is another radius. So this is the distance from the center to that chord. This is the distance from the center to that chord. So they say that the radius of the circle is um, 12. The radius is 12. So here is 12, here is 12. So the first, this is my MN which is 10 and this bisects so here should be 5 here should be 5 and this is my pq so my pq is 8 so here is 4 here is 4 so bringing out the first triangle this is center o so if i bring out the first triangle first triangle looks like this so here is 90 here is 4 and here is 12 and here is x let me call it x so using pythagoras square i'm going to have 12 squared is equal to 4 squared plus x squared so therefore, 144 is equal to what? 16 plus x squared. So therefore, x squared will now be 144 minus 16. So x squared is equal to. So 144 minus 16. I'm having 128. So therefore, x is equal to the square root of 128. So what do we have? Square root of my answer, that is 8 root 2 in cm. So that is that all right so the next one what do we do for the next one the next one is the other side so do this one and tell me what the distance from here to here is using pythagoras theorem so thank you very much for watching this video sometimes they can ask you the distance between the two chords that is you this you now say this one plus this one if they ask you the distance between the two chords okay so thank you very much for watching 
please support us by clicking on that like button comment and share to your friends okay if you are new to our channel please subscribe may the peace of the lord be with you bye bye